Why, hello. It's so nice to see you again. Will you be staying the night, or are you just here for a quick bath? We have rose baths today. Every bath is filled with beautiful petals and exfoliating thorns. Uh, that sounds great, Sakura. But actually, we could really use your help. A ship, you say? I fear I'm just a humble stewardess. You should speak with Lord Arima. The Lord Arima? Yes, the Lord of Yunohana. If you visit the castle, he should be happy to grant you an audience. That makes sense. Thanks. Well, let's go see if this Lord has a ship for us. Welcome, travelers. I am Kusatsu Arima IV, Lord of the Baths. Your arrival in our nation has made quite the splash. I hear it, you fight the Empire. If you need anything at all, just say the word. I will happily pool my resources for you. Thank you, your lordship. As a matter of fact... A ship, you say? Why, that's as simple as soap and water! My favorite lacquered gondola is at the docks, adorned ornately with the Arima family crest. Please, think of it as your own. Another rowboat! Uh, actually, we were looking for something a bit more ocean-worthy. And bigger? Hmm, that's one idea down the drain. And yet, I fear it is my only vessel. If only there were some way to... But no, that's impossible. What's impossible? Alas, an intractable clog. If you wish to venture into the open seas, I suggest you wait for a merchant vessel to call it port. But how long is that going to take? What are we going to do? Now, now, my friends, no need to get so lathered up. Come, let us nibble on something sweet, and we shall ponder this bubblesome issue together. Did you say something sweet? I did. It just so happens a traveling confectioner was recently drawn to our baths. He presented me with an offering of desserts, but I fear they will be too sweet for my sophisticated palate. Perhaps you will find them more to your liking. Hey, I bet these are from that traveling pastry chef we met back in Hearts Child. What luck! Maybe he has a boat for us, too. It's worth asking. Hmm. They're all different. Let's each pick one, and then we can go look for him. I don't care much for sweets, either. So I'll just have whatever's left over. Then it's just the three of us. First come, first served! Oh, they all look so yummy! Uh, I think I'll have... Un petit minute! What do you think you're doing? That's the one I wanted! Settle down, you two. There's no use fighting over cake. Right. Let's unclench those fists now. No, no, you, you don't need to crack your knuckles. I know. Why don't we let you decide who gets first dibs? Good idea! I'm sure you will choose wisely. Won't you, you? Murder girl. Why do I feel like I'm being sandbagged? You! 
I'm trusting you won't be swayed by any saucy wiles. Got it? Uh, 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 right. Whatever you say. In that case... of heaven! Oh, I could just die! You must be exaggerating. Nuh-uh. The lava strawberries are perfect. Sweet, with a hint of tartness. And the mousse just evaporates in your mouth. Oh, I've never tasted anything like it. Each bite is pure bliss. Mmm. I guess it really is that good. Well... Time for us to dig in, too! All right! Uh, wait, is she okay? That's what you get for eating too fast. Whoa. Idia? Idia? Something's definitely wrong. It's like she can't even hear us. I feel like I've seen this look before. Of course, the people in Heart's Child! There must be something in the cake! Bathzooks! Could it have been poisoned? I don't know, but we shouldn't eat anymore. Let's throw it out. <sighs> That's no way to treat my delectable delicacies. I remember you. You're the pastry chef from Heartsfest. What did you put in the cake? No artificial ingredients, if that's what you're implying. Just pure, unadulterated genius. My creations don't just taste magical, you see. They have certain... effects on the eater. These cakes include an extra... dash of inspiration I added just for you. Taste and behold the result, my dear diners. A one-way ticket... To heaven. Uh, what's happening to me? Idia! I'm... 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 I'm fading out! Help me! Someone help! What? What did you do to her? Didn't we just go over this? My cakes are so divine, anyone who tastes one is whisked straight off to heaven. Of course, in heaven you have no body, and you can't move or talk. I like to call it Death by Delicious. <laughs> hmm. You villain! Is this what you did to all those poor people in Heart's Child, too? That's right. And they savored every moment. This doesn't make any sense. Unless you're working for... <gasps> Angelo Ovio Panettone. Patissier non parel. Charmed, I'm sure. Personal confectioner to the Kaiser. And proud owner of the Patissier asterisk. My boss was sick of you meddling in his affairs, so... Here I am. Ladies! Yes, Chef! Right on cue. Now let's hear it. My sweets are... To die for! My face is... To die for! And these losers can... Go to heaven! It's time for dessert! Lick their plates clean! I am Angelo Panettone, 
holder of the Patissier Asterisk. By whisk and by spatula, I create a profusion of pastries, a symphony of sweets. The women of the world swoon at the taste of my delicacies and the sight of my face. Heavenly! You're the ones who took out Amy? Uh, wait, you're the darling she was going on about? Oh, don't remind me. Yes, she was fond of that word. But I assure you, I was not her darling. I show her a little bit of kindness, and the woman is hopelessly enamored with me. <sighs> not the first time that's happened, of course. But over and over, sweetie this, darling that... I can't stand the clingy types. You're a real jerk, you know that? Can't you see that she loved you? Huh, that's rich, coming from the kid who beat her in battle. You think I wanted to come all the way out here to play babysitter? Yet here I am, all because she couldn't take care of business. That woman continues to give me nothing but grief. She was dear to you. Why else would you come looking for revenge? Revenge? Is that what you think this is about? That girl was nothing more than a tool to me. Like my spatula. If my spatula broke, you bet I'd be annoyed. I feel sorry for you. I really do. You had someone who loved you that much.
and you're calling her a spatula. You're really starting to get on my nerves. What do you know about me? What happened between Amy and I is our business. So shut up and die already!
All my work, my genius ruined. My pride, my passion. That I suffer the same fate as that woman is just icing on the bitter cake of defeat. What are you waiting for? Finish me and end this cruel farce. But... You don't want to dirty your spotless hands to think I lost to the likes of you. Then you leave me no choice but to do the deed myself. Heaven, here I come! What? No! Put down the cake! <laughs> this... this ring... It's that cheap trinket I gave Amy. There's a note tied to it? To my sweet darling. If you're reading this, I guess it means I'm pushing up daisies. I'm sorry for letting you down. I was never good enough for you. But I loved you more than anyone in the whole wide world. Growing up in the woods, all I ever ate was roots and bark and wild animals and stuff. I didn't even know what cake was until we met. But that first bite I took, holy cow! I couldn't believe anything so sweet could exist in this world. So I decided I'd be sticking with you, whether you liked it or not. If I hadn't have met you, I probably never would have seen the outside of those woods. You made my world a bigger place, darling. Thank you. Your sweet sugar cake, Amy. P.S. You want to know what made me happiest? When I slept in on Sundays and you made me a special pancakes. I'd give anything just to taste them again. So listen, if you ever loved me, even just for a second, do me one last favor. Stop fighting. Open the pancake shop instead. Then everyone in the world can be as happy as I was. Sweet darling, a thousand times I asked her. Even now, in my lowest moment of failure, she won't knock it off. Aggravating to the end, that woman. Oh, where are you going? Uh, next time we meet, you'll get your just desserts. I'll serve you the best pancakes you've ever had. Phew, he was one tough cookie. Wait, aren't we forgetting something? <gasps> we never asked him how to get Idiot back to normal. Oh no, now what do we do? We have no idea where he was headed either. So we just have to leave her like this? I'm getting a really strong sense she wouldn't like that very much. Me too. We have to do something. Well done, my noble friends. You washed the dirty scoundrel right out of our hair. It was a schwitz watching from my comfortable hiding spot, but I never saw a truer display of heroism. If not for your quick action, our peaceful nation would truly be in hot water. As a token of my eternal gratitude, I would bestow upon you a lifetime Yunohana bathport. A bathport? Yes, like a passport, but with a B and a lisp. With it, you are free to make use of our baths whenever you wish. That's very generous of you, your lordship, but we don't have much time for hanging out in hot springs. Hmm. Wait a minute. Of course! The hot springs! The baths here are supposed to cure all ills. Maybe it would work on Idiot, too. Are hot springs really that powerful? It's worth a try. I'll go get a bucket of water. Here it is. Oh, that's hot. Idiot must be somewhere around here. Try splashing it around. Okay, here it goes. Yeah! Ouch! Oh, that is hot, hot, hot! Look, she's back! Wow, it really worked! 
a little scary how powerful that stuff is. But it's good to have you back. You're telling me? Sheesh, I thought I was going to be stuck like that forever. There's nothing a good bath can't solve. Indeed, cleanliness is next to godliness. Now that that mess is all cleaned up, I insist you stay the night and enjoy our hospitality. <sighs> you know, a bath would be good right now. What do you say, everyone? That's the ticket. Ah, <sighs> tell me about it. Take a look at this, sir. I've been working out. 20 push-ups and 20 sit-ups every night. What do you think? Am I looking more manly? <laughs> you sure are. My routine is 50 each, morning and night, you know. <gasps> wow, sir. Excuse me, gentlemen. I heard all about your bravery from Lord Arima's valet. He tells me you saved our town. Oh, no. We just did what we had to do. That's not what I heard. I think you're being far too modest. <laughs> well, it was a tough fight. In any case, your dinner is ready. Please, enjoy it while it's still hot. Oh, thank you. We'll just dry off and be... Coming! <gasps> Idia! Idia, you're closed! Whew, now that was delicious. No kidding. What a feast. Mmm, I'm completely stuffed. I'm so glad you liked it. It's always nice for a cook to know her efforts weren't in vain. Wait, you made all this? Oh, yes. As the sole employee of this bathhouse, I'm responsible for everything. Cleaning the baths, managing the front desk, preparing the meals, whatever needs to be done. Get. Out. That's amazing! You're like the Omega Weapon of Innkeepers! Why, thank you, I think. It's nothing, really. Will you be retiring for the night soon? Yeah, I'm pretty sleepy. Lord Arima sent over a tremendous amount of yuzu, so I prepared yuzu baths for this evening. Perhaps you'd like to enter once more before turning in. Yuzu baths? What's that? Yuzu. It's a citrus fruit. You bathe with whole fruits floating in the water. It will warm you to the bones, and it's wonderful for your skin. That sounds lovely. Well, I'd hate to miss the chance, so I think I'll try it out. I would too, but I'm really beat. I think I'll... <sighs> hit the hay. Me too. Oh, I might have overdone it. I gotta lie down and digest. All right, see you later then. Ha! Ah! Whew, 
Well, this is the life. <sighs> the scent of Yuzu is so refreshing. I could do this every night. <sighs> hey, Magnolia? Are you there? Yes? What is it? I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. You know, about the flower? The moon? It's customs. I really have no idea. Don't worry about it. It was my fault for leaping to conclusions. I mean, of course you wouldn't propose to me on our very first meeting. Although, I really was happy. I even considered saying yes. Right then and there. Well, really? But why? <laughs> it's a secret. But it wasn't quite love at first sight, if that's what you're thinking. A secret? But you'll tell me someday, right? <laughs> Peut-être. I'll think about it. Mm. <sighs> Too bad we can't stay like this. Yeah. The Skyhold is still out there. That's our main worry. And we still need to find an ocean-worthy ship. I wish we could do something for the people of Heartschild, too. We could bring the spring water to them, but it seems it's not as effective once it cools off. And as long as they're in that Gonda Heaven ghost state, they are coming here. We can't take the hot springs to them, and we can't bring them to the hot springs. Hmm. There must be a way. You seem troubled, my young friends. I know that voice! You're the man with the purple pen! <laughs> That's a curious name you've given me. Though I suppose it's better than Stalker or Ghost. I've got another name for you if you want. Peeping Tom. Uh, I, I assure you, I'd never dream of doing such a thing. My intentions are nothing if not noble. My only desire is to help you. Opportunities are like bean sprouts. Use them while you can, or they'll be spoiled before you know it. Well, that sounds great, but what are you talking about? <laughs> your ship is right before your eyes. Now you need only use it. What? I don't see any ship. Lord Arima's intractable clog. I've taken the liberty of tracting it. Anchors away. <laughs> Whoa! What the? You? Magnolia? What the heck's going on? It wasn't us. Honest. What's with all the racket? I was having such a good sleep. We were in the bath when the man with the purple pen showed up. The man with the purple pen? Yes, I heard him too. You mean he's here? In the bathhouse? His voice was coming from upstairs. Let's check it out. doing here don't tell me this is where it sounded like the man with the purple pen was well he's not here now where's he always off to so suddenly her bathing she moves oh how many years it has been why look at this room I thought it was only for storing the linens. Uh, your Lordship, Sakura. To think there was a soul who could write her plumbing. Truly, my tub runneth over. Your Lordship, I beg of you, 
Please, lend us this vessel. We want to take its healing waters to Heart's Child. If the water is still hot, we'll be able to cure the townspeople. Not content to save our nation alone, you intend to scrub Heart's Child free of its troubles as well? It would ill behoove me to throw a wet towel on your ambition. This vessel was the very rubber duck of you, Nohana. But from this day forth, she belongs to you. After you have saved Heart's Child, journey with her wherever you need to pull the plug on the Kaiser. Thank you very bath. We shall not let you down. All right, time to bring the hot springs to Heart's Child. This is a far cry from our old boat. Does anyone know how to pilot it? Mm, more or less. Oh, someone's been studying. <laughs> <sighs> really? Oh, well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, I can do this. Way to go, Idia. Helm, set a course for Hearts, child. Aye, aye, Captain. Bringing her about full steam ahead. So this is the coast of Heart's Child. That's right. Hey, wait a minute. You're still on board. Of course. Why wouldn't I be? It's just that, uh, we kind of get into a lot of dangerous situations. Then all the more reason. I'll stay right here. On a perilous journey such as yours, you're bound to have aches and pains from time to time. When that happens, I'll be here to see you're as comfortable as possible. Does that mean you'll be cooking for us, too? But of course, hot meals thrice daily. Now that's what I'm talking about!
Nope. There's no one inside either. Everybody went to heaven. Huh? What's that sound? It's coming from outside the city. And it's getting closer. Sergeant Sapp, sir! We're almost at Hartschild, sir! Oh, no thanks to this rats a fracking machine! We should have been here days ago! Don't be too hard on him, Sergeant Sapp, sir. He did his best to only overheat at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, sir. We could have been the ones to take the city, too. Oh, well. Might as well mop up. Tear down the walls and level the place. And get a move on, or His Majesty will leave us behind. Huh? Uh, Sergeant Sapp, sir. I think someone's coming this way, sir. No matter. If they get in the way, just, uh, level them too. What is that? That's the Imperial insignia on it. What clunky, primitive technology. It's so cool. I know, right? It's so rustic and rugged looking. You two, quit gawking and get ready to fight. It's coming for us. Nothing. I'm back and better than ever. Say your prayers!
for you. Climb Mount Fragmentum, zero, 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 two. Sir, yes, sir. Increasing boiler temperature. Don't lower it by mistake, Private. Whatever you do. Got it? Eh? I mean it.
jeez! Glory to the Empire! The pride of our army, our next generation super weapon, humbled by four men gutter snipes? Sergeant Sab, sir, a message from HQ. It went. Don't worry, I had decoded it. Skyfold, Diam, and T Sales, fro next ob, ject Ive at dawn. Or something like that, sir. Wrecked, earn, post, faced, or be ab and dunned. Well, I don't want to be ab or dunned, sir. Furt fur more, do not let unit fallen to any my f ands. The end. Ands what? Talk about a cliffhanger, sir. Oh, wait, there's also something about a coward meridial and a firing squid. Ooh, then we got no choice. Pull the self-destruct lever! But, sir! Just do it! We can't let the weapon fall into enemy hands! I... I can't do it, sir. The lever's broke clean off, sir. Why, I'll break your... Mm, fine, fine. We'll drive the blasted thing back. About face! Wouldn't it be faster if we walked? And what about my face, sir? Just... Shut up! Look at that thing clanking and clunking away. What a rust bucket. It's so cool! I wish I had one. Anyway, now that that's over, what do we do about Heart's Child? We'll need to douse every inch of the city, but how can we do that without the water getting cold? I know! We could spray the whole town at once with a great big shower! Yeah, good idea. Let's do that. Idiot, you get the giant shower and we'll wait here. Murder. Why, you little... No, it, it is a good idea. There's a fountain in the middle of town. If we just connect that to the bathhouse... Nice thinking, nice sir. Sir? sir. Ah, don't jinx me. Uh, anyway, the pipe leading to the fountain should be right over there. Great. Let's get to work! Okay, that should do it. All right, open the valve and start pumping. Is it raining? But it's so warm. I can see everyone. And look, I can move again. It worked! The townspeople are back to normal! We brought the heart back to Heart's Child! Good job, everyone! I'm in your debt again. Thanks to you, I'm feeling as good as ever. We're happy to see you back on your feet, sir. But now, he must return to the battlefield. Of course, I'm grateful that he's well again. It's just... A part of me can't help feeling sad as well. 
I'm sorry, Eleanor, but I promise I shall return to you unharmed. Oh, my love. Ooh, getting awful steamy in here. And I ain't just talking about the hot spring. I've never seen two people who care for each other so deeply. And yet, despite that deep love, their lives force them apart. He must protect the nation, and she must protect their home for when he returns. Their love is suffocated and crushed under the heavy weight of duty. Duty. Such a simple word. Yet it has the power to keep two loving souls apart. In the end, what does such a marriage mean? What is it all for? Wow. Uh, what's gotten into Magnolia? She seemed really affected by that conversation with the Goodmans. Maybe being married means even more in the moon than it does down here on Luxendark. Still, I know how she feels. What I wouldn't give to experience true love like the Goodmans someday. Does this mean you're about to launch into a monologue too? Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Ready to go? Let's do it. To the Temple of Water! <laughs>